Hey guys. guys, welcome to Ray and Lonnie's Reviews. Our dog wanted to be in the video today, so she's in there just <laughs> looking at other stuff, but whatever. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review over the movie Cloverfield, Cloverfield Paradox, Paradox, or yes. The Cloverfield Paradox. I'm not yeah. sure which way to say it. Like, I just saw it last night. It's and okay, Cloverfield Paradox. It was amazing. It was um, really good. It I'm is on try Netflix. To be yeah, it's on Netflix. Uh, it showed up last night like on the Super Bowl. Random, yeah, on the Super Bowl ad. We had no idea about it until the ad that we saw on the Super Bowl, and then we saw that it went on that night. Yeah. And we're like, right after the Super Bowl, it's just like, click. We're gonna go ahead and put on the Cloverfield movie. So that is what we did. Yeah, and it was it was out of nowhere because we thought yeah. we knew that Cloverfield was gonna have a new movie this year, but we didn't know when. And yeah. uh, there's rumors that there might be another one, which is called Overlord, uh, coming out this year. So we're gonna stay tuned to that. Yeah, but uh, there's there's just so much like, to talk about with this movie. It was amazing. It does um, connect with. The, it connects all the movies. Yeah. To well, actually, it doesn't say anything about number two, like in terms of the character. But the mom, actually it does how uh, the guy who who was talking on the news he's related to the other guy the one so who it's had the kind, it's still like those subtle connections right yeah it's not like except for it was well it except was not, yeah. yeah okay yeah but we're not gonna say um go ahead mama um we but you still do damn it I lost my train of thought but yes my dog keeps moving, moving. yeah. So it is. You do see the connections uh, from between all the movies, and it's. Um, but it doesn't stray away from its own storyline and its own um, plot, right? Right. It's, it's like it's still its own thing. So even if you haven't seen the other movies, it's fine. Like it's it's okay. Yeah. Um. So. Plot-wise, uh, the movie starts out with... Um, I didn't... Okay, I missed, I, like, the first 15 minutes of it. Because I had to step out. Because uh, we were actually with a party group of friends, so we weren't going to pause the movie. Um, my brother broke his arm, and I had to... I was on the phone with him, like, telling him, like, oh, it's okay. You know, so I missed, like, the first 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, basically, uh, she didn't miss much. <laughs> But, like, it starts off, um, this, I can't even remember the names of the characters, but the, the black lady, she's talking with her husband, and, um, I can't remember the conversation, but, um, they were saying some stuff, and it didn't make sense at first, because, like, I wasn't all into it at first, but then, uh, it shows up, like, it, it, she says, um, but I have to go, or something like that, and then she ends up. Like, she's on the space shuttle. And from there... So, it takes is, place in outer space in a space station. Yeah. Yeah. With a and, bunch of scientists on it. Yeah, and they they all have very specific jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're trying to... Um, they're trying to create the God Particle, which is... Um, the God Particle is a... It's to basically, get that, you had to it's split basically what atoms. created the Big Bang. That's what they're trying to redo, and uh, it's it's so they can have unlimited energy on Earth because um, I guess there there's a shortage of energy on Earth. <laughs> like and, in the, yeah, and um, so yeah, they're trying to do that, and it's very dangerous. It's very, yeah, it's very, very they dangerous. They split and atoms and all hell breaks loose. The first time <laughs> it doesn't, the first time it doesn't work. Second time it does work, but it overloads. <laughs> it's, it's, after that happens, <laughs> shit gets pretty crazy. Now, Lola. Uh, this is where we get, we would get into spoiler territory, but I don't want to spoil this movie for you guys. So. But this is where the like the I guess conflict in the movie occurs, so now the story gets pretty intense. Yeah, and people are like some of the crew members are thinking that someone's a a Nazi maybe or 
<laughs> or at least like a German that. a German spot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the guy who. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you did. You you were there. I guess I wasn't paying attention because I was still. I was still texting my brother. He's like, he's all broken. No, you were something. there. Okay, but I'm saying I probably wasn't paying attention because I was like texting my brother and like issues and stuff. Uh-huh. But yeah. Anyways, he he uh. He was There's drama German. between the scientists. Yeah, and like that ends pretty quickly. And then it just it just spirals out of control. Like so much starts happening, mm-hmm. and oh, uh, you gotta see it. I can't tell you. Yeah, but just like, how did it make you feel? How did did you like? I was on it, the edge of my seat the whole time. Yeah. Like I didn't know what was going to happen, and it was the storyline like, was really really well written. It, it had good parts of of um, life. If you guys have seen that movie with the with the alien, like it had some of the good parts of that, um, and then it had the good parts of Cloverfield. Like it just had everything. It wasn't a but okay. It's this movie. I wouldn't say it's an alien movie. It doesn't have because majority of the movie is on the space station and out of space. But there's not an alien on there. No, that's not what I'm talking about. No, I know, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm adding to it. So, but there is aliens in the movie when you know, like on Earth, like um, and it explains that a little. I mean, it's connecting the with the other movies as well. I'm showing um, or like you hear the aliens and like so you know the commotion is going on, especially if you've seen the other movies. But there's not... Well, technically not aliens, because they've been there. Okay, but we're just going to say aliens, right? Because it's... Those are monsters. Okay, monsters, aliens, what what do you want to call them? It, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay, monsters, okay, fine. So, it's not... The focus of the movie is not the monsters. The focus of the movie is um, more so with the space station and more so trying to get back home, Right, right. So, don't get it twisted. So, I know that can probably get some people disappointed. Like, well, I wanted to see monsters. I wanted to see aliens. I wanted to see where they came from. And, you know, why are they here? This, this, and that. So, it doesn't really explain any of that. Uh, just so you know, right? But when they do have that, you know, kind of show or talk about a little bit of the monsters or aliens, it's freaking awesome. So... Yeah, like, um, it's very subtle, like, at first you wouldn't know, like, what's, Mm -hmm. like, I had an idea because I had seen the first Cloverfield and I had seen, um, I had seen the 10 Cloverfield Lane, Mm -hmm. but, Which is really good. They're both. Yeah. They're all really good. But, like, it's, it's so subtle that, like, it kind of, it's like, is it, is it not? Like, is it the same thing? Like, you can miss it. Like, if you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. And, Sometimes, yeah. And um, the ending nails it in the coffin. It's it's that. like It's awesome. We're not going to tell you what happens. We're not going to tell you what it is. But it is epic. Like, yeah. oh, my God. Like, it is just, <laughs> it is gigantic. The ending is just gigantically amazing. Yeah. It's, um, I mean, I would put it on here, but I don't want anybody to get all booty wet, so I'm not going to do that, but, um, it is, uh... I'm glad, and I'm glad that we didn't have to go spend money, extra money in the theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't have Netflix, just get a free, uh, month, (laughs) and you can watch it. Yeah, do it. So, yeah, I mean, you know. But, um, what was I going to say? This movie... Is uh is definitely it's gonna like this whole series is definitely gonna end up being a classic series. And I like that they're taking their time with it. I'm I like how they're not rushing it because I feel like the payoff is a lot better. And I like the I like the way they they market the uh, the movies because every time that they have a movie they do a whole um, a ARG game where like you have to play these like little these little games online or watch these videos and and like it's it's crazy like 
it's almost like they're trying to do like marketing like like the Blair Witch, but this is ten times better. Like it's this movie is definitely a better than sex for me. Yeah. I give it I a really high full price. Um I don't want to give it a better than sex, even though it was a really, really good movie, and I really enjoyed it. I was fully entertained with it. Um, I I still wanted to see more of the aliens, though. Like, I, I wanted, you know, um, but I'm not mad at how they did it, but I did want to see, like, I, I kind of was expecting at least something was on the ship, or... They're like they're scientists at least and talking about it or you know, you know what I mean like they're the, the they government. They didn't know though. No one knew. Okay, but I thought that you know, th- I mean, knowing that th- what this movie is, and I know that they didn't know. I know that, but knowing that this movie is a Cloverfield movie, maybe like towards the end they had they would have had a little bit more discussion about it or a little bit more. Just answering at least a couple of questions that I had. But other than that, it's a really good movie, and I give it a really high full price. Yeah. Um, okay. I can, I can accept that. But I'm, I'm sticking with mine. I, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. Um, I see what you're saying about the aliens from the last movie, but I think that's part of the paradox. Maybe, you know... Because, um, like, there's still stuff that's left unexplained. So there, I'm there's pretty a lot. Sure there's, <laughs> it doesn't really movie. answer anything. It does, but it doesn't give you, like, a clear cut, like, cookie cutter answer. Like, I, but that's I mean, what they answered the questions are. that I had. No, yeah. But the questions that I had, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, and I'm getting the. I'm getting it that, that that's the theme of these movies is we're not gonna tell you it's it the movie is more so about the experience it's not about you know where do they come from why are they here it's putting yourself more so in a position that this could happen and this is how you're not gonna know the answers just like us everyday folk we're not gonna know the answers um, right away we're not we're we're gonna have to live with it basically until the military comes up with a you know a way to 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 deal with it but um so i get it that's why i'm not mad at it because the experience that the movie gives you and the emotion that it gives you it almost feels like you're there and um and it's it's realistic almost it's very realistic you know so like they got the science and everything behind it pretty pretty on point so yeah and so that's why i'm not mad at it but but i i was i just the curiosity of you know human you behavior know i want yeah i not just i'm not that like you know i know you don't have to give me the answer like what are they here why are they here what are they where are they from yada 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 just more so a little bit more of them in the movie I just wanted to see more or have them involved in the movie a little bit better. Or, or like, a little bit more. That I just wanted a little bit more of them. But for what? Just, like, I don't know. I a totally just, different movie. But, like, in the ending, you know. I like that they did that with the ending, but it it wasn't necessarily No, necessary. but, like, the ending, not just, like, the last like, closing scene, but um, the ending when, you know coming back home and finding out what's going on and that's... So you wanted the movie to continue? Is that what you're saying? Because like, Maybe just like another like 10 minutes you know just having a little bit more interaction with the aliens or whatever you know I just want but that's the but it, like I said I'm fine with it I'm fine so with it. So you don't like that that you've, you're left hanging a little bit is that it? That's what a little bit, like. a little bit. Well, that's what it sounds. No, saying? no, no, no. That's not the issue. I just in the movie in general, I wanted to see more of the aliens. I didn't. 
Okay, well that's you. But well, that's was, you. Okay. It wasn't. A, it wouldn't. It would make it a totally different movie if you <laughs> put the aliens in the movie. Okay. Like that's. Like this is. And this reason. is just my opinion. Like in the ending, I just wanted to see you know just to see them a little bit more. Like, like you know you see like the dude when they're in that. <laughs> There are some scenes from Back of Earth with the other characters where there's already destruction. The aliens are already there, but they don't show aliens. They don't show people, you know what I mean, doing this, this, and that. It's You keep saying aliens. We don't even know if the aliens are in this dimension. You talking about dimensions now? Yeah, that's what this whole movie is about. They don't know that. You're not supposed to say something. I already did. They didn't. Yeah, I did. Anyways, but that was just my opinion. You're arguing with what I want. I can't change the movie, so that's just what I wanted. All right, well, um, we have other videos coming up. We're going to do a DBZ, or Dragon Ball Super, episode 126, and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, one of our one of the classic movies that the we just recently one. we just recently watched. And... Um, Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.